Welcome to Connection Yoga. My name is Kat, and today we begin our chakra series with chakra number one, the root chakra. Its element is earth, its color is red, and today we will discover the signs, both mental and physical, of blocked energy in our root chakra. And I hope you step away today understanding how you might benefit from alignment of your root chakra. As the name says, the root chakra acts as the root of the body. If it is out of alignment, you may feel anxious, depressed, or frankly, constipated. Located at the base of the spine, this earth element chakra is the energy center associated with your sense of security, home, and familial relationships. When energy is flowing through this space, you feel firmly grounded in yourself and the world around you. You're able to tap into the ability to support and maintain a calm and steady energy. When out of alignment, you may feel pain in the intestines or lower body. Mental signs of misalignment can come from your relationship to yourself and the world around you, resulting in potential feelings of increased distractibility, rushing from task to task, feeling exhausted or lethargic, or feeling stuck, and more. In today's 30-minute slow flow, we will cultivate a sense of grounding in your feet, legs, and pelvic floor. In our practice, we will do some intense stretches, deep squats, and seated poses that will help you to connect to the earth. So for this practice, I recommend having a half block on, a full block, or whatever you need on your usual mat. This is your space and your time and together we will move into the space of the root chakra and find some grounding, tune in to ground down. By continuing on with this practice, it is an acceptance of waiver of liability. Take care of yourself, and if you're ready, let's get connected. We'll begin in an easy seat. I'm seated on my block which helps give me a little bit more comfort in my low back. But for enhanced grounding, if it feels comfortable, feel free to sit on the mat. Hands on the thighs facing down. Close your eyes. Moving your focus to the sensation of gravity. As you sit tall, gravity brings you down, allowing the earth to step in and support you, to ground you. And in this space, we'll take 10 cycles of Ujjayi breath. This is breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. A slow, constricted, steady breath with the inhale length matching the exhale. We'll begin Inhale, exhale, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, throat, Exhale, throat, chest, ribs, belly. Inhale, bottom, two, 
the top, hold, exhale, top, middle, bottom, pause, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, throat, exhale, throat, chest, ribs, belly, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, throat, exhale, throat, chest, ribs, belly, one more, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, one, let go for a moment and feel yourself settle, into any breath. Follow your breath as you move. And switch directions. Come back center, take an inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, place your hands on the mat next to you. Inhale, lift right arm up. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, center line. Exhale, lean over. Inhale, center, drop right arm, lift left. Exhale, lean right. Inhale, center, lift. Exhale, lean right. Inhale, center. Hands to heart. Inhale, swing arms, reach up and twist right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach up center and twist left. Breath in, elongate. Breath out, twist. Inhale, center, and twist right, exhale. Inhale, center, twist left, exhale. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, move to tabletop. Setting your block to the side. 
plant hands, shoulders over wrists, knees under hips. Inhale, lower belly, cow pose. Exhale, round the back, cat. Inhale, lower belly. Exhale, round the back. Flow between. Linking breath with movement. Remaining grounded in your body. In this moment. One more. Come back to neutral spine. And we'll take some hip circles with the knees, starting with the right circle open, back and down. Might put a little weight over the right leg to do so. Just try and keep a neutral spine movement purely through the hip joint. And switch directions, going back and then forward. And then extend the leg to the side, hover, and set the inside foot down. Exhale, hips back towards heel. Inhale, lift shoulders over wrists. Inhale, exhale, drop back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop back. Inhale, lift up. Walk your hands to the left, planting your left hand open, right hand up, side plank. Breathe in, breathe out. Option to reach the arm over the ear, extended side plank, stretching. and lift up, shoulders over hips, arms to T. Lift your right toes up, plant your right hand on your thigh, and lean over, side gate latch. Inhale, lift up, and lean, plant the hands. Right knee comes in, we circle left, back, and down. And switch directions. Extend the leg to the right. Set the inside foot down, exhale, hip back to heel, one leg child's pose. Inhale, lift up, shoulders over wrist. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, lift up. Walk right hand to right side. Plant and peel left arm up, side plank. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Option to drop your left arm over, extend through the side body. Lift the left arm up and lift up, shoulders over hips, left toe peaks up. Left hand to the thigh and lean over, right arm by the ear. Inhale, lift up and lean, plant the hands, right, left knee comes in, tabletop. Hold for a breath in, hands walk forward, down dog, lift the hips up and high, heels dropping towards the mat.
One more breath in. And breath out. High plank, inhale. Knees to the mat, lower down, exhale. Tops of feet flat, shoulders roll back, cobra, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Cobra, shine, chest. Exhale, lower. Plant your left hand under your forehead. Reach your right hand back for bent right ankle. The knee is bent. You are binding to the ankle for half bow. And take a pause to feel the length of your body upon the earth. You are grounded, connected. And switch, right hand comes under head, left hand reaches back, bind and breathe. Release your bind hands, plant under the shoulders, press up to the knees, down dog, exhale back. Lift your right leg to the sky, bend the knee, and we take some hip circles in down dog. Circling around, moving through the hip joint, and then switch directions. And then pause at the top, opening through the hip. Keep your shoulders square to the mat. Try and open through the hip. Square the hips off, three-legged dog, extend the leg, and step it outside of the right hand, top of mat. Right foot, or left foot follows, and squat at the top, hips deep, head lifts. Exhale, hands to the mat, hips to the sky. Toe, heel the feet under the body. Halfway lift, breath in. Hands plant, down dog, breath out. Reset, inhale. Exhale. High plank, breath in. Lower to the mat, breath out. Cobra, inhale. Lower. Exhale. Cobra, inhale. Lower. Exhale. Bend both knees, if possible. Bind both ankles behind you for bow pose. You can stay grounded, keeping your heels in towards your glutes, or form an active press into the hands with the shins, and try and lift up. Thighs off the mat, chest off the mat, belly button remains. Breath in and release. Hands stack under the head, swaying feet side to side. Release. Feet back center, hands plant under shoulders, take an inhale, and press up, exhale, down dog. Left leg lifts this time, bending at the knee, circling around. Hands are very firm in the mat and switch directions. Stay at the top, bend through the knee, open through the hip.
straighten the leg, hip square off. Step outside of left hand, right foot follows, top of the mat, and squat. Hands to the mat, hips to the sky. Toe heel the feet under the body. Halfway lift, breath in. Fold, breath out. Stand up, reach up. Hands to heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Hands plant down, dog breath out. Knees to the mat. Child's pose, hips dip back. Breathe. Lift up tabletop pose and step your right hand outside your, your, step your right foot outside your right hand. In yoga, feet might as well be hands. But for clarity, we are in a short lunge. And in this space, we focus on this flexion in the hip, really targeting there rather than simultaneously getting it and the hip flexion, which a more extended back leg would achieve. Here, I just wanna focus on staying level and breathing big. Right hand behind the head, open to the right. And twist, elbow down, chest square to mat. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist down. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant, right hand. Step your right foot back and switch. Step your left foot forward. Breathing big. Remaining steady. You are rooted. Able to remain calm and steady in your body and in your mind. Breathing in and breathing out. Left hand behind the head, open twist. Exhale, square down. Inhale, open. Exhale, down. Inhale, open. Exhale, down. Reach up, breath in. Plant left hand, breath out. Step back, tabletop, and take a high plank. Bring your right knee forward, kicking the ankle out, setting up for pigeon. Gonna move our hips slightly back. I am definitely gonna bring my half block back in under my right butt cheek. I've got big hips, lots of glutes, and so I need this extra little lift to keep myself level or also be tipsy topsy turvy over. So I recommend exploring with, without, and grounding yourself in the goal of alignment of your body, of your energies. 
beginning with the breath in your body. To that back knee, reaching your left hand back for your left ankle and hug in. Ooh, nice little quad stretch. your leg, hands plant in front of you. Move back, plank, set your block to the other side, and then come forward, left leg, hips level out. I stayed up for the first one, so I'm gonna do the same here, but whatever calls to you naturally, feel free to do, explore. Just remember to breathe. And be. hand to ankle, keeping our hips level, and lean slightly forward, but maintain that long, long, long spine. your block to the side, high plank once more, and then just take a seat. Make your way to your back, bending at the knees, grab your block one more time, and bring it under the hips, the low back area, and extend your legs up the wall as if they're on the ceiling. Once again, feeling the work of gravity as we maintain legs up. It brings the energy within the body down and ultimately lets the blood flow back into the heart without effort, giving yourself a break, a reset. This is the beauty of an inversion. And re-bend through the knees, lift the hips, remove your block. And we'll take one last pose. Happy baby. Bend the knees grabbing the outer edges of the feet and press the low back into the mat. Once more, focusing at the chakra, the base of our spine. Breathing, noticing. I invite you to bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly. Finding 
your safety, your security, your steadiness. Allow my voice to call you back. Stay as long as you need. To close out with this community in me, begin to wiggle fingers, toes, roll wrist, ankles. Reaching arms overhead, point toes, full body stretch and then make your way up to an easy seat with as little effort remaining and we'll close out together with one connected community breath if you're in Shavasana, feel free to join. Exhale everything. <sighs> Breath in. Breath out. Hands together at heart center. Rooted. Connected. And in gratitude, we bow. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining for our chakra number one practice in our new series, exploring the chakra, thinking about what we can maybe change in our lives, explain how we might be feeling, and gives us a tool to do something about it. So anytime that you feel this might be out of balance or misaligned, know that you can return to these deep grounding poses and target the low, lower body, the lower region. Get aligned, explore, and accept yourself. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back. Our next chakra will be the sacral chakra or the pelvic one. And so come see what's in store. Subscribe, hit the notification bell if you have not. Most importantly, like if you like this practice. You'll save it and you can always come back and do it again. From Roscoe to me, we love you. Take care and stay connected.